The two-way experiment rolls on for this player. He's done well so far, and there's a lot of buzz that he may get a call to the majors pretty soon, but the jury is still out on whether he can sustain success as a two-way player long-term. Mike Lowell is with me today. Mike, thanks for joining us. What's your take on him? Well, I'm fascinated by the talent that this young man shows. Uh, for my experience, I found it so hard to get to the big leagues, and I didn't even care about pitching. You know, <laughs> my, my thing was very focused. So I, I'm, I'm so intrigued to see how you can, how this young man can react once he gets to the big leagues because it is so precise. And I think the, the preparation, the work, and what you have to accomplish to be a pitcher from one end and then a position player on another end at the big league level is so demanding that it's almost, you know, that double trouble for you. But the talent level is there. And I think that's what catches so many, so many people's eyes that could this be the next guy like a Shohei Otani that can actually contribute on both sides of the field? It's going to be very interesting to see how this all pans out. Now on your home for minor league baseball. Three, three. Boucher. So next to bat will be David Boucher. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch on the way. 
Fellas, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field this afternoon. They come in in a real funk to start the year, still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Maddie, I know they've caught a little bit of a losing streak right now, but they got good veteran presence, great veteran presence in that clubhouse, and I bet you someone steps up today. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Dylan Thomas twos all over the place two on two out and of course here in inning number two drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out and the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs so it's no runs on two hits no errors. So now here is David Boucher looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. So he racks up the swinging... Next to hit is David Boucher. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. Now the one and one pitch takes a pitch for strike number two. You know, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. This one's down to third, right to him. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Up next, David Boucher. He bounced out last time up. Pitch popped up. Thice waits on it. And that's the third out. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Next up, Estevan Florio blasted a solo homer last time up. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Fielded cleanly. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So they go down without a whimper here. Eighth inning coming up. The Bees lead it three to one. And the score finishes four to one today. The Bees wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Michael Altman claims the win out of the pen his first. Adrian Guzman earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. One run on nine hits. One error. They left 18 runs. MLB The Show's coverage of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 10-team AAA West. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the El Paso Chihuahuas and... Boucher. Next to hit, David Boucher. He's set. Here it comes. He's running. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Pullison is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Pullison. Now to bat, Randall Pullison. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Swing and a line drive. That gets down and the inning continues. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to towards. Ready now is David now Boucher. Oh for one here in the David. early going. Boucher. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Florio, but this one drops and he's got a hit in his first at bat of the ball game. And that means the inning stays alive with two away for Kyle Seeger. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, D. Rowe. Now to the plate, now Randall back. Pullison. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run. From the belt, the pitch. The middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. This won't be in time as he's well in the run scores. Leading off the inning, it'll be David Boucher as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Up and away to start the inning. It's oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. And there's ball two now. Got a piece, it's two and two. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Hudson goes to get it, and the throw is there to record the first down. So stepping in is David Boucher, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Cut fastball inside, ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2-0 oh now. Now here's the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So four to be free passes this late. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count. 3-1. and one. Doesn't want any part of that cup. Weekly hit to third. And that's the second out. In next, David Boucher grounded out in his last at bat. And he fouls this one off. Wind up and the 0 1. Swing line drive. That's going to be troubled. Around first, digging for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs. He puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally. The Salt Lake Bees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Alfonso Varela first. You Darvish worked only three innings in the losing effort. The game's future stars. Stepping up is David Boucher. Here's the first pitch to him. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. Been a middling start to the season as they come in two and three over their first five. Oh, uh, yeah, Matty Boy. It's time right here, d Road, to start getting greedy. You win the first two of a three-game set at home. It's time to get greedy and go for the sweep. Yeah, you got to take care of business in front of your home fans without question. That's exactly what this team's doing. And he misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. over at the knees and that's the second strike. Hey I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down and away and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that that's off the end of the bat that's not hard contact at all and that's an easy out for the defense. Now the three and two pitch. 
Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning, so it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So now into the box is David Boucher. He bounced out last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Dero. That's a 10 game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan? Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up, we're seeing the homers go up, we're seeing the RBIs go up. Now at the plate, David Boucher, one for two with a triple so far in this one. And now the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but he... One and no delivery. Little slide step action there, Dan. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. From the stretch. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Now the three and zero offering. Lifted in the air to center. Thomas is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Boucher. Striding forward now is the D.H. David Boucher. He flew out in his last day being wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. First pitch swinging here and he doesn't get much of it as it's sent toward first. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Hey this might be their best time. Next to dig in, David Boucher. He comes in with a couple of hits, including a triple in four at bats. First pitch on the way. High in the air out to center field. Thomas is there now, and he has it to gone. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one, some timely. All right, Triple A is only a step away now. I get it. Triple A, he's on a nice deep boy. I never thought I'd see this. I'd be the first to admit I thought well, this was a, a wasted experiment. I'll be the first to admit it, and he's done a nice job here. He's not that he's playing against former major leaguers in some scenarios. I'll grant you. Good job. Excellent. Boy, I maybe I hope I'm wrong. I got more to see. I want to see it in the major league level for a period of time, and that's a long way off, but he's only a step away. That's a good sign.
Matt Vaskersian back on the minor league pregame show as we move closer to first pitch tonight here in the AAA West with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. David Boucher comes into this one with hits in each of his last 10 games. What do you think is contributing to his recent success and what do you think about his chances of extending his streak in this one? Yeah, Matty, consistent hitting mechanics, a great eye, feel for the barrel right there, Matty. I actually think it's going to continue. This guy looks so calm in the box, I don't see that he doesn't get a knock today. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. 
Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the El Paso Chihuahuas and the Albuquerque Isotopes. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. George Kirby, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, I know. They dropped the first three games of this road trip, but you got to find a way to shower it off. I always said that when I left the field after I took that shower after the game it's got to it's got to go down the drain that game has got to go away they find themselves in a new series right now with a chance to redeem themselves so he ran second. the fastball by him for the punch out Jimmy Valero sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning that evens it up one and one. The ball in two strikes. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and no one will get this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two two pitches fouled away. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Next it'll be Brian Saucedo first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away and he catches the inside corner for a called strike nothing in one and he watches a called strike at the knees no balls and two strikes. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kristen Stewart. Strike one to start the at-bat. Goes the other way as this is line to left. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Aaron Schunk trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. No balls in one strike. Breaking ball called just a bit low. And it's fouled away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Demetrius Ibarra is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. The 0 2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So no runs no hits no errors and no. Now to the plate the pitcher David Boucher. He comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches a ball and a strike now. Here's the 1 1. And he'll miss the target there with the curveball, and it's 2 and 1 now. Throw over to the bag, and they got him. Now the 2 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet six inches. Three and two now. 
Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Andrew Kisner. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. A ball and two strikes now. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Next up is George Kirby. His guys still Batting looking up. at a zero in the hit column. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied nothing nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the switch hitting second baseman Jimmy Bolero. And he lays off there one and oh. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. A bouncer up the middle, reined in. And a good throw gets him one gone. And now Grant Levine comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball two back to back. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Now batting, left fielder. Stepping Brian. in now, Brian Saucedo, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And that misses one and one. Two out, nobody on. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2 down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Chihuahuas lead it one to nothing. So here now is the pitcher, David Boucher. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the A-B now. Now a flare out toward right center. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kristen Stewart. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now into the box, Aaron Schunk looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, 
When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Hit down the third baseline, and there's their first hit of the game. So now to the plate, Demetrius Ibarra as a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. We're through five here at the ballpark. El Paso's out on top, three to nothing. At the plate now is Andrew Kisner to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. Yeah I think if I'm the hitting coach right here Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive just seems like we've been going too deep in counts and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound so I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Andrew Kisner is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Ryan Vallade comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Called strike at the knees, 1 and 1. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, 1 and 2. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up, I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone and he's having a big game. So it was a strikeout looking there. Ryan Vallade goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Jonathan Daza will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. The pitch. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. May get six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Seventh inning coming up. The Chihuahuas lead it three to nothing. So the next to bat will be David Boucher. One for two on his line so far in the game. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing at a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the second baseman, Jimmy Bolero. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. In now, Grant Levine. He swings and grounds it to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. That was an exciting play at first there and will employ show track for a better look. Knowing he really had to let it loose to beat the runner, he fired off a 90 mile an hour throw. That's not a number you'll see very often from an infield throw, so he really showed off the arm that time. Now batting. Left Standing in now, Ryan, Ryan Saucedo. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. El Paso's out on top, three to nothing. And stepping in, Kristen Stewart. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, one and oh. 
Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Digging in next, Aaron Schunk singled in his last at bat. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Right. Next, here is Demetrius Ibarra. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Count now a ball and a strike. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. He's through eight with the shutout intact. Ninth inning coming up. The Chihuahuas lead it three to nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, David Boucher. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 2 now. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. In there, a base hit. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up. Austin Adams is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Isotopes put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. Matt Milburn gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com.